so let's have it checked in in the properties here to check why it doesn't works any of the vvv coin features and plots it has users and plots and the coordinates uh, let's refresh save the save the html page and then save the our map loader then we can go this way it's still not and not this one so we put it like So you see, you got the idea. So you can pop up and then you can put it like uh, what information that you have it and the properties. If you have more properties, you can put it, select it and do, do this one information that I mean. So you see exactly the all the three, the polygon line polygons that we put it here, like the simple one line of polygons, polylines, you see the information, that's what I mean. So you got it idea what I mean here. So go back to the developments. So these functions, we, we check it like uh, each layers and each features and then add the pop-up. That's, that's, that's we click it and then get it the pair pop-up. And here the most important, all the layers that say we have it in the, into the, in the GeoJSON data sets and then add these data sets and then add this data set into the, the, the GeoJSON, GeoJSON objects or, or array and then build the default functionalities and select call the geojson functions each of the, the functions to track it and then give some very some extra information for uh, the styling information how you can when you click it and how the pop-up come up and then after that you can add the very add the maps into the maps into the into the into uh, into, into the layers La add the layers into the maps sorry so that means you define all data set that you have it here and you load the maps very independently load the maps and set the map properties like center zoom in zoom out level and and then uh, you you write down your map functions you load the fun maps and then write down the functions how many layers in, in the map had so this is the functions and you add the all the layers into the maps that's all so you define here the all the data that's you setting into these files that's coming here this is the most important one so what we try to check it this is my, my previous examples that we we, we we did it together so now we have uh, some some data digitized data you see this is our new digitized data that's i, I said so let's copy this data into into here so that means this data now is as a variables we need to call uh, sorry we need to call plots and uh, no this one we need to call this one so so let's have a clo close it okay it's closed so I copied it and I need to be go here so I call these variables and then we have another data uh, from the geo server export that's we are already talking about so see the geo server export we just add it here i will show you a different way so it is geo server this is geo server 2 so it has geo server 2 and then what i need when you load the maps put it all everything that i need and i put it geo server 2 so this is the one of the digitized information from 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 uh, from geo GeoJSON IO and this is the data from the Geo server. So let's let's refresh uh, our page how it's look like. The existing page look like this. So it has now it has it should have more more geometries here. I believe. You see that it has should it should have all the geometries, all the points that you have it in the into the 
into the your, your digitization we already digitized these maps you see that these networks we digitize here so it is a like like we did here you see the exactly same pictures that i have it here this is the same picture this is our data that's we copied it or you can save it as like files and json files and we put it this json file into the into the into the file systems and then and then and change the data into the your files so you get the exactly the same picture that we wanted here in the web browser you, you digitize information and store save as a json files you can also save as a, a top json csv kml wkt shape file also this all things you use possible for this simplicity this case today i try to give it to you how can you use json and geojson can handle it that's my idea how can you digitize it from different sources maybe you can take these geojson files uh, or information uh, geospatial information from the postgres database directly with the query right written or that's the for the fast approach then you can have the possibility to take the data from the you define geo server here or you can third approach you can digitize the data here and and save as a geojson file and and this take it this geojson file put it directly into the into the web browser into the html page and build a web application for for me as a professional way how i did i take the geojson files and out of the geojson file i define the the javascript files the the data files that's we need so this is the javascript files that we have it exactly the same information but as a different js format i additionally build the variables to load this variable into data into the javascript uh, in the javascript files so you see here uh, the exactly json files and then we digitize the store as a as a javascript files and after that these javascript files uh, 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 this is the independent way i will show you later this this example we put these the javascript informations into our main geo data set functions so just i simply add the extra variables so just copy this variable into these files then i have all data into only single geojson data set javascript files and this is it works automatically it works if i if i go to this way how it how professional it is if you read the pictures like if you go to my examples how we did if you just like delete or you just delete this one so it's it's like only loading uh, loading the uh, the map information so let's save it i believe it's loading only the uh, map informations uh, no, not here it's loading you see simply load the maps doesn't special because it's loading we didn't say nothing but we say just define the maps let's load the maps and very simple pop-up that's what we say it into the our map loading that's why i say this is really clear independent information really categorized that is really special just simply load the maps it has zoom in zoom out functionalities and it has a center point setup it has a one simple pop-up development pattern this you saw, already saw in the pictures in the development patterns development pattern in 2020 and that's all but in the in the if you said second exam the, the example that we are looking for as a professional example so we we set our all data into here and then call the data uh, bill when after loading the maps and set the data into the maps and that's the part we we we, we load the data we have already loaded the maps very fast you can you can reshuffle it so it take the data the map fast and then depending how it's designed doesn't matter but you, you load the maps and we already linked with this data we define our data and we define our variables that we need as a javascript variables and call this data into the into the your maps variable that's we define here that's we define here so all the variable all the data that's you define here we just simply add this array and it works automatically and and this works that's i say that's i that's i that's i promise it works automatically as a professional way so if i refresh again it works goes so it goes what we expected that's exactly what we expected so now we we try to go different way so let's say we only we try to call directly the geojson uh, javascript file itself 
could it be possible? That's that's I mean. Uh, 